Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today, we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Engage and we just finished Chapter 4. It was honestly a pretty fun one. Um, it's also one that we saw in, I think, the original trailer that we uh, first got. So, um, I think we're going to be going into a lot of new that we've never seen before, which is exciting. Let's see what's up next. We saw her in the trailer too, didn't we? I wonder if she's a divine dragon too. Oh, she escaped from somewhere. Broken chains. There's no need to be afraid. It's gone. You saved my life. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I only did what anyone else would do. Are you here by yourself? I am. I saw the fighting and thought I could help. You're braver than I am. I can't stand the corrupted. I was so startled I couldn't think. You really did save my life. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the Divine Dragon. What a lovely name. I'm Vale. Vale. There's a name, Vale. Might I interrupt? What is it? Even with the corrupted gone, it may not be safe for her out here. So, if she was a divine dragon, that means that she could potentially have had a very, very long life, which means that she probably would recognize us if she knew us from a thousand years ago. So, maybe not a divine dragon. Perhaps we should escort her home or to any She could also just be a young one. That's a good idea. Hey, Vale. Do you live around here? Nope. She's gone. Huh? She's gone. <laughs> okay. Divine one. Saline, did you see a girl pass this way? Small with long hair? Barefoot? No, I'm afraid I didn't see anyone matching that description. <sighs> okay, thanks. Did you need something? I wanted to thank you. Alfred told me that you accepted Firinay's request for aid, and your help in the battle was the difference between victory and defeat. Thank you. Truly. Don't mention it. Alfred and I are friends. I was happy to help. Friends? He said that? Imagine speaking so casually with the Divine Dragon. Please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. There's no need to put me on a pedestal. I just woke up. And the world is new to me. I make mistakes like anyone. Is that so? I thought surely the Divine Dragon would be an all-seeing, all-powerful being. But here I find that you are rather more... human than I expected. Perhaps we can be friends. Then what do you say, Saline? Friends? I would be honored. Yeah, the quality of those two recordings sound very, very different. It seems like Saline is not in the same recording studio. She seems lower quality. His mix is a little bit more forward, hers is a little bit more muted. Maybe, uh, over-compressed. You can adopt the animals you encounter while exploring and bring them back to the Somnial. You know what? This is totally unnecessary, but I'm into it. Hell yeah, I'll adopt all the doggos and cattos. Alright, I'm into this. After you adopt them, you can let your animals graze in the, f in the farmyard. They may even drop goods and ingredients that you can use. If you donate to countries using the bulletin board, you will be able to adopt more animals. It's like they know what I care about. It's not humans, it's animals, man. Look at this, there's a whole bunch of NPCs and stuff too. Okay. First things first, adopt the Eleosian, Eleosian, and bring it back to the Somnial. Absolutely, 100%. Is that close enough to a pet? I mean, we just adopted a whole dog. 
So do I do do I dock intelligence system points for not letting me pet the dog? Or do I give them points for allowing me to adopt the dog? I don't know, man. You let me know in the comments. You let me know in the comments. Is this a uh, point for or against intelligence systems here? I'm kind of, um... I'm kind of scared what the bond fragments are going to be for. I have some suspicions about this uh, ring system, but uh, I haven't been watching any of the extra content, so if there's something out there, I don't know about it yet, um, but I'm afraid of gotcha stuff coming into this game, and I don't know if it does or not. Since I haven't heard a big stink about it from social media, I'm thinking that if there is something, it's probably not too egregious, but I don't know, man. We'll see, I guess. What? You made the village peaceful again. I hope it lasts this time. <sighs> uh, Flora's got a beautiful port. I haven't been in a while. I wonder how the folks there are doing. <sighs> Those creatures broke our bridge, but if everyone pitches in, I think we can fix it. Yeah, that was the bridge that I got uh, my character stuck on. My bad. Yeah. Well, they use this boat to transport freshly picked flowers. Isn't that a lovely sight? Sure, I guess. Okay, so that's the broken bridge. <sighs> I hope these flowers continue to bloom this beautifully for a long time to come. Thank you for protecting the village, but what brings Prince Alfred and Princess Saline here? So I wonder if there'd be different dialogue had we not saved this house. I wonder if, um, if that would be reflected here. I would hope so. Let me know if you experienced the other if, uh, you allowed one of the houses to get pillaged. <laughs> what a distinctive appearance you have. You must come from a distinguished noble line. Okay, this is uh, where our tank held his line. He did a very good job, too. <sighs> I am so accustomed to the battlefield, I must work to remember the peacefulness of Lithos. Whoops. Your allies may give you bond fragments if you have conversations while exploring. Use bond fragments on the Somnial to create bond rings or train with emblems. Okay. When you finish exploring, you will receive any available bond fragments that you missed. Well, that's generous of them, I guess. So basically, if you don't want to do the explore session, they're not really forcing you to. I think that's okay, honestly. Yeah, I think that's okay. For some people, um, the exploration stuff was their least favorite thing in Three Houses, and honestly, like, they were incredibly long. The explore sessions in that game, too long in my opinion, uh, but I still liked them anyway. But, yeah, I can see why they might uh, want to appease both sides of that a little bit. If you want to explore, you can. Really? Look, you can see Firene Castle from here. Isn't it gorgeous? I wonder what it's like to live there. Yeah, pretty cool. But I kind of live in a fortress in the sky, so... Mine might be cooler. Yes. This village would be nothing without those windmills drawing water and grinding grain. That dude looks smug. Real smug. Thank you. Thanks for protecting our poor flowers from those heartless trampling monsters. Can I adopt that chicken that's behind me? Right. We're gonna find out real soon. Well, look at that clear water. If it wasn't for this war, I could be fishing right now. 
So yeah, I thought this guy was a uh, like Tower Knight type character, but um, when I actually looked at his class, he's uh, he's more like a uh, uh, what did they call him in the other games? Wow, why am I blinking right now? Just a regular axe wielder. I want to say Berserker, but that's uh, because I'm playing Tactics Ogre right now, and that's what they call that class. I'm blanking on it. You can't adopt this callous and chicken because you don't know how to raise it. See the donation section of the bulletin board at Cafe Terrace to learn more. How dare they? How dare they? Give me that chicken. I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah. The flowers in this village are so vibrant, but my hometown's meadows still have them beat. Wonder if we'll get to see that someday. Yes. Our wool is some of the finest in Firenay. We present some of the royal family every year. Some to the royal family every year. I can adopt a sheep, but I don't know how to raise a chicken. Look at this guy. What a boss. Give me that chicken. Oh my. Oh, the divine one, I presume. I am Louie. Thank you for coming for my princess's aid. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello, I'm Chloe. Chloe, my bad. I can't thank you enough for saving Princess Saline's life. No problem, girl. No problem. You and I, we're gonna be friends. Just gonna throw that out there. Your uh. dress is stupid. Uh, I mean... Uh, I'm sorry, your highness. Um, I respectfully hate your dress. <laughs> Why would the Illusions invade Firne? I hope that Mother is safe at the castle. Oh no. More parents? More parents to die? Everybody's parents hmm. are going to die before the end of this game. I'm glad we found Saline, but I'm worried about the castle. Let's head there as soon as we can. Okay, so I think we've done a full exploration. I wonder if we will be able to come back and explore this place again later. Since we can't get the chicken now. Alright. Wait, really? Oh, I probably... Yep, I missed uh, Clan and Fram over there. My bad. Hey, folks. Mind if we bend your ear a minute? Hmm? Name's Durton. I'm an armorer. And this here's Anis, purveyor of goods. We saw you trading thumps with those things. Figured you might be in the market for supplies. Mm, yes. Yes. If you need, we'd be happy to provide you with quality weapons and items. <laughs> Anything to defeat those creatures. I want to buy another stave. They pose a terrible threat to traveling merchants like us. How would you feel about moving to our base? You can sell your wares from there. Um, <coughs> Divine One. <laughs> what? We don't have any facilities. These two could be a good addition. Uh, you're gonna let us open shops at your base? If you'd like to. We'll need plenty of weapons and items from here on out. It's a haven. You won't find any creatures there. They're spies. Kill them now. Kill them now. Okay. Never mind. You got yourself a Don't bargain. kill your friends. Don't do Can't it. Can't wait to do business together. Thank you for this. I will do my utmost to ensure you receive the finest items. But if they turn out to be spies, I'm pointing back to this video right here. You received 10,000 gold in military funds from Vander. Thanks, Vander? Where'd all that money come from, bro? And we have a world map. Hell yeah. Use the world map to select a destination or move to the next chapter. It looks nice, too. This is a cool world map. I like it. To continue the story, move a Lear to your next destination and press A. Manage your inventory or return to the Somniel using the menu. Okay, so... Let's see, that was um, X that I just pushed. That allows us to fast travel. Yeah, man, this really is just a fortress in the sky. I wasn't really sure if it was just on a high mountain or if it was actually floating in the clouds. But it's literally floating in the clouds. Um, we have 12,000 gold. We have 650 bond fragments. Um, we should probably go back to the Somniel and see what's now unlocked with the store and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to do that before we move to the next uh, location. Um, 
So chapter 5, Firenay Castle, and eventually I'm sure that we'll get uh, side content as well. It's a fun little uh, chibi model for, uh, <laughs> for Alir here. Okay, so Alir and Clan have a new support. Let's go ahead and go through these and then we'll go to the Somniel. Divine One, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Let me take care of that. You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm gonna have to insist. But... Please. You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up. And not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's like a miracle. So, please, let me do it. Honestly, truly, I would be honored to help. <laughs> Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest. There definitely is a time and place for, um, you know, like power fantasy sort of things in video games. Like a lot of people like that, you know, feeling powerful, feeling like uh, an interesting character. But I don't know, in these games, I've never really enjoyed playing like a, a main character who everybody kisses their ass. It's not interesting. It doesn't make for an interesting character. Um, I hope that they start moving away from that in the future, but it's such like a... It's such a trope in JRPGs and just other Japanese games and stuff that I don't know if it will, but uh, that's something that I would hope for eventually happening, is for them realizing that this is not how you write an interesting character. I don't need everybody to kiss my ass. In fact, I don't even need an insert character. I don't need a main protagonist. Like, if three houses had come out and it was just like, there were three different lords that, you know, and they're houses and not necessarily anybody was the main character, I would have been fine with that. Um, so, Fram and Usheron. Let's do this. <gasps> Why? Why would they do such a thing? It's just not fair. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> He's not okay. Hey. Boucheron, right? Yes. And you're Fram, right? What? What is it? Do you need me for something? Um, no, I'm fine. I heard somebody crying their eyes out and I got concerned is all. Ah, oh, right. Sorry for worrying you. I'm all right. Okay. But then what's with the sobbing? I was reading this book, and I just get so swept up in the story. <laughs> A book did this to you? People tell me I cry too easily. The littlest thing is enough to set me off. Man, he's just me, for real. He's, he's just me. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. So what's this book about? I'm that guy, like, sitting alone in my apartment watching, like, Netflix shows, and, like, the dog is suffering, and I'm just, like, trying to hold back my tears. <laughs> Like I said, I don't care about humans. It's mostly animals that, you know, that make me sad. <laughs> well, <laughs> that I care about. There are siblings who are separated during a war and later meet again as enemies. Hmm. Huh. Sounds interesting. I'd be happy to lend it to you after I'm finished. Thanks for the offer, but I'll pass. I don't really... Well, I'm not a big reader. Oh, uh, that's a shame. Ah. Huh. What if I read it to you instead? What? That's sweet and all, but I couldn't ask you to read to me like a little kid. Oh, think nothing of it. I know you'd love the story just as much as I Big do. bro. In that case, sure, why not? Yep, their dynamic is going to be like big brother, little sister. Okay, Alfred, and uh, I should have listened more closely when she introduced herself, because I still don't know if it's Eddie, Edie, 
or something else entirely. Let's see if we can hear her name this time. Amazing weather we're having today, huh? Oh dear. Choo choo! It's the perfect day for a cup of tea. Oh no. What is the dynamic between these two? What is happening right now? Especially the tea you prepare, Etier. Etier? Favorite of all. Okay. That's kind of you to say. Would you like another cup? No, I'd better not. Oh, so her if, tea sucks. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, her tea sucks. Okay. I can't hold it anymore. Oh, I'm out. Your cup is down first. I win. What? Yep, fair play, Etier. I got no excuse. Although I could swear our special workout teacups seem heavier today. I'm sorry, come again? Well spotted. I did add some weight, in fact. No wonder I had such trouble just lifting it. Don't whine. The road to muscle gain is long and bumpy, and you've just begun. Tea time will only get harder from here. I expect nothing less. Let's raise our teacups to strength. To strength? I feel like all of the ladies have, like, a weird chipmunk face. Am I the only one? So, I, I went and, um, I, I looked at the artist's uh, 2D art for this game, like their concepts and stuff, and honestly, I don't blame the artist necessarily for, for what happens in this game. Um, their 2D art is very strong, honestly. Really, really cool 2D art. I just don't know if it transfers into 3D a lot of the time. And I do not like the faces. The faces in particular, for some reason, aren't working for me in 3D. I think that's what's bothering me the most. Besides some of the more outlandish design stuff, like, look at Eddie right here. I think that sh her design is not that bad. It's pretty good. Um, but I don't like the faces. Um, that was an interesting and kind of fun support, though. Um, so these two are weird. These two are weird as fuck. So they use weighted teacups to train with. That's some bullshit. <laughs> That's some bullshit, guys. Firene is weird. Okay, you haven't gotten your bond up with Sigurd. So yeah, we got that C rank, but there wasn't really like a support conversation, not really. It was a very, very short interaction that we had to get that C rank. I wonder if they'll get more involved as you move on. Um, I really don't care about um, that too much, except for um, with this one. Celica, I just want you to talk to me all day. What can I say? Um, where's the S rank for Alir and Celica? I don't see an S over there. Where is it? Where's the S rank? Anyways. I suppose we should go to the Samuel now. Um, it looks like we can access the marketplace from here too, but I do want to go back to the Samuel. I don't think we need to. But, um, we should probably just check in each chapter and make sure that there aren't new things being unlocked that we can't access through the menus. Um, maybe there's new items to pick up. Um, there's probably new dialogues. Things like that. As you all know, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty thorough on my playthroughs. Maybe you notice with my 300 plus episodes of uh, Three Houses. Look at this. Um, update bonus? So this must be one of the free bonuses. Because I don't have the DLC. Um, steel sword, steel lance, steel axe, steel bow, steel ingot, and 3,000 gold. You can now manage your skills. Select manage skills from the inventory menu to see your ally skills and equip inherited ones. Allies can inherit skills from emblems in the ring chamber on the Somnial. Okay, so that's... I wonder if that's what we're going to use some of those bond points for. Um... So, you unlock them by leveling up the person, just by pairing them together with the engage thing, and then you can inherit them permanently using 
this ring chamber. Okay. We're starting to get it. <laughs> well, after I fight side by side with someone, I find myself seeking them out on the Somniel. Yep. New shops. We can buy some weapons. We can buy some items. We'll probably be able to get a new stave. Healing stave. That's right. Well, when I see flowers, I think of my prince. Neither he nor Firene was meant for this war. Do you want some manure? It's the only gift I have, Boucheron. <laughs> Why is manure a gift? Why? <laughs> oh, the Somniel's gotten pretty busy, huh? Hard to believe we used to be the only ones up here. Wow! Look at this, huh? Me, here, with you. Thanks for giving this old armor a hand. You need a weapon? You're in the right place. Blades, bows, axes, tomes, I got them all. So, about the armor. Buy or sell weapons here. The armory's inventory will increase as the story progresses and new goods arrive. Okay, so slim. So there is a weight stat. Look at this. So it, the weight stat is affecting your speed with each weapon. So yeah, these slim swords are going to weigh a lot less, make it more likely for you to be able to double. Um, let's see, does it tell me how... Yes, it does tell me how many I have in my inventory, so I've got two of those. Yeah, I, I think I had a slim lance on Chloe. We have two javelins now. Ooh, the hand axe is really heavy. So it wouldn't be bad probably for us to have one of these. Um, a, a lower weight axe that has better accuracy than axes tend to. Like when you just need to finish something off and have it be a sure bet, that wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Uh, mini bow, is that the one that does short range? Yeah. Okay, so we'll want one of those too. Here I'm gonna you buy go. one of these. I'm gonna buy a mini bow. Here you go. I wonder if I should have a slim sword for uh, a leer. Um, who can use this? Who can use knives? So that was me. That sound was me trying to hit X to uh, cycle info. But clearly there's nothing to cycle here. So, uh, Surge, a basic attack tome that can only be used in close combat. Huh. So it has higher might, but can't be used in range. So it's a little bit riskier for a mage to use. But since it's a little bit higher in might, it's probably a situation where it's like, hey, I just need a little bit extra might in order to get the kill. And then you go closer, you get the kill, and you're still safe because they're dead. So, yeah, I could see that being useful. I'll buy one of those. Here you go. Take care. I thank you. It's an honor to ply my humble trade on this sacred ground. At the item shop, I stock vulneraries and other goods you may find useful. Now about the shop. Here you can buy or sell items used in battle like vulneraries and staves. Okay, that's what I was hoping. When I didn't see staves in the other one, I was like, I sure hope the item shop has them. <laughs> As the story progresses, the shop will stock additional items. Alright, what is a loom? A staff that magically shines through darkness, illuminates a seven space radius, and shrinks one space per turn. It's a torch. Okay. I'm going to buy an extra you. one of these. I'm also going to buy an alum to have on you. hand. And these are actually limited stock, some of these. Resistance plus seven. So this is a vulnerary that also cures poison. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Alright, these ones are temp bonuses. 
I'm not going to worry about buying those right now, but... I could definitely see them being useful. They're not too expensive, either. Just little bonuses you can bring with you. Do come again. So yeah, I'm guessing all of this new stuff is probably once per new chapter. What do you all think? Think that sounds about right? Seems to make sense to me. That is definitely not a grapevine. How dare they? Uh-huh. Ah, no matter where I look, it's all so lovely and picturesque. That's what I'm saying, girl. It's a great view right here. Uh, I'm gonna like her. I can already tell. I think I have a thing for Pegasus Knights. <laughs> I tend to like all the Pegasus Knights, just always. If I may. Well, floor is safe for now, but I'm worried about Farinay Castle. Let's go as soon as we can. <laughs> well, in all of the world, there is no place to sec uh, uh, so secure as the Somnial. Fear not its safety when abroad. Okay. Okay, another pretty pebble. Can we do something here now? Ugh, oh no. Oh no. There in the grotto is uh, suffused with a mysterious aura. Something... Stupid. Ugh. I mean, I think I saw this thing in some of the promo materials and I was like, oh no, they have a fucking mascot in this game. If you guys have watched my Persona 4 Golden playthrough, I do not like Teddy. I hate Teddy. Teddy sucks. Morgana's a little bit better when we get to Persona 5, but... Teddy sucks. I'm not a big fan of mascot characters. So this little plump, round, stupid thing is going to have an upward battle to get me to like it. You can try, but you will probably fail. You look dumb. <laughs> I offended some oh of you my. who are watching. I know I did. What in the world is this creature? Oh. So you have found it at last. Vander, what do you know about this little one? Not much, unfortunately. It began to appear shortly before you awoke from your slumber. Queen Lumera once said it is something of a guardian spirit for the Somniel. Claimed to have played with it in her youth. She did? So this creature has been alive for a very long time. You know, I do feel a sort of affinity toward it. It seems to have taken a liking to you as well, Divine One. Would it please you to care for it? If it is truly the guardian spirit of the Somniel, doing so may bring some manner of benefit. What a great idea! Now that I've met it, I'd like us to be friends. Let's see. I'll call you... Sami? Yeah, we'll just keep whatever the canon name is, because anything I come up is going to be... Rude to the poor creature. We gotta give it a fighting chance. Yes, I like that name. It's nice to meet you. I hope you like your new name. It looks well pleased. Don't forget to say hello to it when next you see it around. Another trope that I didn't need in a Fire Emblem game. The enigmatic Sami was watched over this, uh, has watched over this land for untold ages. If you take good care of Somi, something wonderful might happen. 
Okay, then. Um, feed. We've got a lot of oranges right now, so... Okay, more bond fragments. Oh, can I keep feeding it? Are, is the food used for something else? There might be some kind of uh, cooking bonuses or something like there was in Three Houses, so. Okay, he didn't like nuts at all. I'll try an apple and a peach. Okay, so if I do this again with an orange and we get nothing new on that bar, then maybe that just means that we can't overfeed him? Okay, we're just wasting our shit. That's what's happening. Oh, I'm supposed to continually put push A, I guess. Is its bar going up? Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm remaining positive. I am remaining positive. Remaining positive. Oh god. Yeah, that one. It's gonna be that one. A flutter friend, a rump ribbon, a cheerful charm, woolly wings, and a grand garb. Okay. We're going with the grand garb. Hate it. Wait, there was a scarf thing. It's gonna be black, like his soul. Sami's soul is black. Look at those angry eyebrows and his spiky collar. He's a bad boy. Sami's a bad boy. I will make this a positive experience for myself. You are a bad boy now. God. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay, how are we all doing? Let me know in the comments, how you all feeling? Was your visceral reaction uh, positive, negative, scared, happy, sad, all of the above? <laughs> how does Sami make you feel? Um, is there some kind of bonus to this, or do we just like them out in the real world? Okay, it doesn't say there's any kind of bonus, but... What's up, dude? I'm observing you. If I push A for action, you bleat. Um, <laughs> this is one of those moments where I'm like, did they allocate their resources properly? <laughs> In this case, yes. It, yeah, with, with this one, they allocated their resources properly. <gasps> it's my girlfriend. I've not been here for centuries. Please, the Firinate- Whoa, don't auto. It's like this. I wish that there was an option in any JRPG where voice dialogue could be put on auto 
and then anytime it's not voiced, it would not be on auto. I want that option. Look, look what they've done to my girl Celica though. She has chipmunk face too. Why do they all have chipmunk face? Why'd they do this to my girl? All right. No, we're being positive. We're being positive, ladies and gents, okay? Ladies, gents, and other folks. Non-binary folks. I've not been here for centuries. Please, the Ferenay royal family do take care of them. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me on this holy ground. But might we be off to Ferenay Castle soon? See? Look how much better your design is when you don't have your stupid bell dress. This is so much better. This is a thousand times better. Oh no. Is this gonna be more manure? Oh no. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with this. Hi, Eddie. Strength training is now available. Okay. So. Let me guess, you're here for strength training. I can see the drive in your eyes. Very nice. I knew it. Wait here and I'll be right back with Prince Alfred. Does it involve teacups? In strength training, you could choose from three different exercises to get temporary boost to Alir stats. Each exercise plays differently and affects a different stat. Try to top scores in all of them. Okay. So they're temporary. Okay. Glad I reread that. You will unlock more difficulties for each exercise as you progress through the story. What'll it be? Um, let's see. Push-ups. Use good timing to stop the bar at the right position. Rules. Speed will increase. Miss three times and it's over. Alir's strength may get a boost in the next battle. Okay, so the effect is strength, not speed. Don't get rules mixed up with effect. Okay, mash the button to fill a gauge, mash fast for a high score, and uh, if the gauge is empty, Alir's HP may get a boost in the next battle, and Squat's Dex may get a boost in the next battle. Okay, timing. Stop the bar at the perfect position right when it speeds up. It ends if you miss three times. So these bonuses are only ever going to be for Alir then, huh? Do the specified number of push-ups to complete the activity. The bar will get faster over time, so stay focused. Aim to get fit. Okay. At the perfect position right when it speeds up? That's a terrible explanation, by the way. Do they just mean when it's in that bottom area? How hard do you want to go? Want a training partner? Sami will help you out if it likes you. Sure, I guess. Is there any reason not to do that? Keep it up! Nice! Keep it up! You got this! Nice! Keep it up! Nice! Keep it up! Nice! Perfect! Keep it up! Okay, so Sami kind of uh, gave nice. me a pass there on those. Okay. That was a good work. So yeah, why would you not want to bring Sami? Times help too. I guess it's for your own personal score. Strength will be plus one in the next battle. I think Sami's dead. Our bad boy is dead. You won't get any further bonuses or rewards, but do you want to continue strength training? No. We'll Let's do this uh, again we'll space it out trying each of those. 
If uh, there's no bon if there's no actual bonus, we won't waste our time. We'll uh, spread it out. Next time we can do some training, um, we'll try it out. I like her casual garb. Okay, only place left for us to go is in here, and we do need to go to that ring room. Oh, hello. Okay. I love how lively the Somniel is these days. Plus, I get to talk to you every day, which is the best. Magnificent. Uh, such magnificent scenery here. I look forward to taking a stroll through the gardens. Okay, Louis has a new page. Just real quick, I'm gonna see if I can give uh, that pebble to Etie. So. Thanks. I'd happily accept any gift the Divine Dragon picked out for me. <laughs> huh? What's up? You're looking at me kind of weird. Sorry. I didn't mean any offense. I just couldn't help it. So I feel like her design and like her manner, like her actual, the way she acts and stuff, feel like they're contradicting each other. Like she's definitely like, she's a badass, right? Like she's a tough girl, but like her design does not scream that at all. <laughs> Is there something wrong with how I look? Kind of okay with it though. Oh, it's kind of no, fun. Nothing like that. Then tell me why you're laughing already. <laughs> well, you know how you're always so confident? Huh? I was thinking about how Nani? plain it is on your face. There's confidence all over you. It's kind of inspiring to look yeah, at. There's no wrong. Which is why you were staring. Forgive also, me. Also, chipmunk face. If it bothers you, I'll stop. Nah, I don't mind. I'm actually a little honored to help out the Divine One. If staring at me lifts your mood, go ahead and stare all you want. Thank you. I mean, it's a little embarrassing, <laughs> but a quick jog will help get my mind off. She it. loves it. See you around, Divine One. She is in the clouds about it. She'll never admit it outright, though. Not ever. Okay, very cool. Got a support there. I'm really wondering what to do with this damn manure. What could I possibly do with the manure? Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Can I see? Yes, I can see where people are at. So it looks like Vander's out here on Lookout Ridge. Okay. Let's save. And we're going to try and give poor Vander some horse manure. Oh my. Laura Mill Town was a fine display of skill. We move on Firene. Ah, the auto. Oh my. We move on Firene Castle when you are ready. You could technically give it to someone, but why would you? <laughs> My goodness. Define one, I scarcely know how to respond. Not positively, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, why do we have it? Why do we have this? I don't want to give anybody manure. There's going to be like... One fucking weirdo who wants that manure. Fire yeah, I ain't playing that song. Engage. Are you kidding me? I guarantee that thing is copyright claimed on YouTube. That's why I didn't put it in the first uh, episode either. The one in uh, Three Houses was claimed, which is why it wasn't in there either. Oh, the Tome Surge is guaranteed to hit too. I didn't realize that. That's good to know. 
All right, Vander, I, I won't give you manure, I'm sorry. Oh my. Oh, there's an item we missed over there? Back behind Eddie? Spirit gem. Is that another gift? Wonder if that's something you would Thank like. Thank you. Damn, your hair is long, girl. That shines with many colors, found only in the Somniel, especially near Sami. It's favored by all. So it's kind of like an owl feather. All right, let's give it uh, to uh, Saline here. This is wonderful. Oh, and it's for me? I am sincerely touched by the gesture. I will not give you horse manure. Okay. We didn't get the support up with her. Not yet. Does the blue mean you have something new? I think it does. Magnificent! Such magnificent scenery here. I look forward to taking a stroll through the gardens. Now we read that. Don't know if I want to do this or not. I'm going to do it. So we just get a bunch of stuff out right by doing that too, huh? Received Harvest's Bounty. The next one down there looks like it says Immediate Rewards is National Clothing? Hmm. I guess we should check the achievements. Got a bunch more things. Alright, let's see what this is about. Let's inherit some skills, huh? Um, let's see. So these must be the three rings that we have currently. Uh, we've got Marth, Sigurd, and Celica. They're not interactable. The ring chamber is a space to interact with emblems and their rings. You can inherit skills from emblems here. Using bond fragments, you can create bond rings or combine and strengthen existing ones. Okay. You can also deepen bonds with emblems by polishing the tarnish of combat off their rings. I mean, do we get to ask for consent? <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> okay. Polishing these rings, man. I need I need Celica's consent on this one. Celica, I mean, there is no such thing as implied consent. She's got to just say it. We have to assume that they are okay with this. All right. The Ring of the Caring Princess, the ring where Selica sleeps, the princess of a vibrant country, as well as a warrior priestess. I see, so you get to pick who gets to do it, who gets the bond up as well. So let's try this with Saline. This is I so dumb. Clean it well. I hate it. Your cleaning skills are impressive. Why is this a thing? What is R? Polish firmly? Japan, don't. Why do you do stuff like this? 
I love you, but at the same time, I just don't. I just, I just don't. I can't with you sometimes. <laughs> it will take some work. Hmm. Thank you. The ring looks amazing. Uh, who? Alfred. This ring is filthy, don't you think? Still learning all their names, you know? Well done. The ring shines like new. So I guess you can't do that, um, unless this, uh, smiley face is a little bit lower. Okay, so we can create bond rings and meld bond rings. I don't quite know what that is yet, but uh, let's look at inheriting skills first. Allies can acquire certain skills from emblems using inherit skills. This requires a certain bond level as well as skill points. Earn SP by battling with synced emblems and equipping bond rings. So it's not the bond fragments that is used for this. Equip inherited skills using the inventory menu. You can't benefit from the same skill twice, so try to avoid overlapping. So in other words, right here at the beginning, there's probably not too much of a reason for us to do this because they're still... They're still working on getting... Like, we're gonna have Marth on a Leer for a little bit longer here. They're like... At least until they get to rank 10. So until then... We probably don't really need to choose any of these, because uh, we'll have them all. So we won't worry about this quite yet. Bond rings increase stats and allow units to earn SP. Though not to the same extent as emblem rings do. Okay. So, bond rings are kind of like a subset of your engage rings, it seems like. Luck plus one. Minerva C. Here it is. This is what I knew was going to come in at some point. I just didn't know how. I wasn't completely sure that, that this would happen, but... Fuck, here's your gotcha system. Luckily, it doesn't seem like there is any way for us to spend real-world money in order to engage with this gotcha system, so it's a little bit more like a Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where it's just a part of the gameplay system. But that doesn't mean it's good. Um, I think gotcha systems of all kinds are not, they're not my favorite. I don't love them. In fact, I hate them. It's the worst part about Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is otherwise a very good game. Um, but this doesn't seem like a terrible implementation of it. Um, Xenoblade 2's was um, a little bit more integral. Um, because if you didn't get the right things that you needed, you could actually be blocked from continuing the story in that game. Um, this just seems like it's going to be giving us bonuses and stuff, but... Okay. I'll make like three of these for each character for now. Okay, Ogma A. A strength, dex, and speed. Okay, so there's at least one rank above A rank, so there's going to be an S rank ring for each of these two. Merrick B. Dex and Speed. Now, do these only activate on your stats when you engage, when you're in the engage state? My guess is yes. Lucas B. See, look at that art style. Echoes had such a good art style. Oh, I love it so much. 
HP plus two and defense plus one. Fire Emblem Echoes probably is my favorite art style in the entire series to this day. Delphia C, magic plus one, once again, also from Echoes. I guess all of hers are probably gonna be from Echoes, huh? That makes sense. <laughs> So the secondary rings that you get will be the characters from that same game. Ah, Silk, it's good to see you, girl. Luck plus one. It's only a C rank, but that's okay. Magic plus one with the Zell. Ethlyn B. HP and speed. Cell of C, strength plus one. I wonder how the combination system will work. I don't want to overdo it too much right now because um, I don't know when we'll get our next ring, but maybe we'll do one more for each. Let's do one more for each. Navar, nice. Dex plus one. Another silk, so maybe now we can try combining. Yeah, we got two Silk Cs, so I don't know if they need to be the same rank or not for us to combine them, but... Dex plus one with Aira. Yep, so they do need to be the same character. And... By the looks of things, probably the same rank of uh, ring as well. So we take two C's and they can become a B. All right. So our luck one becomes a luck and a magic one. And does this cost? Yes, it's 100 uh, bond fragments. Okay. We'll call that good for now. I don't believe there's anything left for us to do here at the Somniel. Yep, looks like we're good. Let's just step outside so that uh, everything isn't grayed out, just to be absolutely sure. The orange are the... yeah, those are the animals. We bought a couple weapons which we'll equip before our next fight. So yeah, I think we're good. So, let's see. We go menu and back to the world map. Okay. So, this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and in the next one, we continue on to the next area in Chapter 5. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout-out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Len, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Molly, Chris Murphy, JW, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.